So I'm going to show you how to create hyperlinks and so that you can link your to other websites. So as a teacher, sometimes it's helpful to provide our students with resources that they can access from home. And one good way to do that is on a web page. So I've got this links and resources page here, and I'm going to create some links for my students to access when they're at home. So first I'm going to click the edit the page so that I can edit um, the content of the page. Now, I personally like to use pictures as links rather than just words. So I'm going to show you first how to do it with pictures, then I'll show you how to add the text and how to create a link with that as well. First I'm going to change my layout. Because I'm going to be working with pictures, I think I'm going to change it to a three column page. That way the links can stay kind of nice and it'll be aesthetically pleasing so it won't be um, just a bunch of random images on the page. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click center then I'm going to say insert and I'm going to find the image I want to use. So in this case I've got a, a picture that I've already saved on my so I'm going to upload it so I click on desktop having some trouble there. Okay, I click on desktop. There it comes. And I mean link. So let's see if I can find that page, that picture. There it is. So I want to put this link. This is a website that I use for my classes. So I'm going to click open. So this is just a picture that I took off the screen and I saved it as an image file. So I click OK and it's going to upload the picture here. It's just taking a little while. There's the picture, so I make sure that it's highlighted. I click OK. And now it's going to put it into the box. Now I want it a little bit smaller, so I can play around with these little, um, the small, medium, and large. I'm going to probably make it medium. And then I want it to be centered within that little um, column. And then um, I click change to change the link because I want it to go to a link. This link that's right here is just going to take it back to the picture link, but I want to change it. So I'm going to click change. And first I'm going to go to the website. So I went to the website. I pulled it up and now I'm going to copy the URL. So I right click it and copy. Go back to my page and make sure it's on web address. And I'm just going to paste it on here. This, I'm just going to delete it and then I just click OK. OK, so there's the link right there. So then if I click Save, then whenever my students hover over the picture, you notice it's got the hand and I click on the picture and it'll automatically take me to that web page from my website. So if I click back, it'll take me back to my web, to my web page. And now I'm gonna add a link using text. refresh the page first. Okay, so now I'm going to click the edit page button. Now here, instead of putting a picture, I'm just going to type some text. So let me center it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And this one I'm just going to name typing web. 
So this is another website that I use. So that this time I'm just going to highlight the text, click the hyperlink button, and now this is going to come up. So I'm going to go to the typing website. So I Googled it. Go to that website. Because the easiest way to do it is to copy and paste your URL. So I go to the website. I right click, copy. Then I go back to my website. Make sure I'm in web address. And I just click paste. Click OK. And then now that if I click save, Now the text is a hyperlink, and I click on it, and it'll take me to that web page, too. And that's it. That's how you add a hyperlink.